What's up guys, welcome to your 104th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is learn about external storage. Because before we've done, you know, the shared preferences and the internal storage. But let's say you guys have an app or a game that, uh, that saves some data. And uh, when they install the update, basically if we save the data internally um, or shared preferences, that memory is going to get erased. So what we can do is create external storage such as like on the SD card where when they update the the game or whatever they can still refer back to that file that we're saving on the SD card. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a class called external data and we're also going to create a class called external data or I'm sorry a layout called external data and all this layout is going to have is two text views for now and uh, the references of those text views are going to be TV can write and TV can read because this tutorial we're just going to see if we can access the store the external storage uh, external storage and see if we can write to it and if we can read to it. So within our class we set up a private text view variable um, called can write and can read. And basically, private just means that this text view is only accessible to this class um, and that's all that means for the most part. Set up our references and set our set content view and we're just going to set up our uh, can write dot set text uh, to initially be false and our can read dot set text to false as well. So if we get a false, we know we can't write or read or something's not working uh, within this tutorial because we're initially, actually let's not, let's not do that. Um, we're going to save that there, but we're going to move it later. So if we start our application, we see the text views, we know we, nothing's happening. But uh, we're eventually going to move this um, so we can see if it's working or not. And how we're going to do that is we're going to set up a string variable. We can again do private if you want. String, and we're going to say the state. Because we're going to return the state value of our external data. Like if we can access the SD card, if we can read the stuff on the SD card, or if we can write the stuff on the SD card, or both. So how we're going to do that is by the environment. We're going to get some stuff uh, from the environment class, and we're going to get the state of the external storage. So we're going to set up the state variable to within our onCreate method to environment dot get external state. And that's just going to return you know a string for us. Um, and what we're going to excuse me, what we're going to do now is just kind of check if we can read and write. So or check what the state is equal to. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if state, and we can't compare strings like this is equal to whatever. Um, that's not going to work. Uh, to compare strings, again, we just have to hit dot equals. And now if it equals this object within here, um, then we know what kind of state it is. And there's three types of states. One, again, we have to refer to the environment class, so environment and then we're going to say dot media mounted. So if our state is equal to this media mounted, what that's going to mean is we can read and write. So we're just going to set up within here read and write. Something like that. And now we're just going to change our text views. Um, I'm just going to copy that here and turn these to true because we can read and write because you know we don't want to write try and write something if we can't do it so we're basically going to use this type of checking method to see if we can read and write and then if we can we can write some data let's say there's a different um, state that we access where we can read the stuff but we can't actually write it so what we're going to do we're going to say else so if this statements false um, we're going to say hey is it is it this else if and we're gonna say 
state again dot equals and then within parentheses environment dot uh, media mounted read only so that way we're going to be able to read the data but we can't actually access it so again we're just going to leave a comment read but can't write ah. Ah, there we go and so on this one we're going to say again we're just going to copy and paste and let's say we're going to say write is still going to be false but read is going to be true and then the last state we're going to say else so this last bracket um, is going to be our last resort so it's going to say hey can we read and write it's going to be like yeah true true um, if it's if that's false it's going to be like hey can we at least read it and it's going to be like yeah you can read it but if we can't it's going to be like alright I got nothing for you um, so this is our last last little bracket here to set up some stuff so we're just going to hit control V and set both of our um, text to false and now we're going to delete both um, these two set texts with above um, because this way we can see if this whole thing isn't even working at all uh, for the most part because we'll still have those text views so let's just run it and see what our emulator looks like when we run our application and again just quickly uh, what we did so got it going from last tutorial um, and what we did is we set up two text views and basically we're getting every time we access external data we want to use this environment get external state uh, external storage state and check if we can read and write that's the main thing of this tutorial is we're just getting the state and seeing if it's equal to media mounted and then you know if we can't we're gonna see if we can at least read the data and then if we just need to read data you know we want to make sure um, we can at least read it and if we can't do either we're gonna kinda return a false value as well so and once we go down to our external data um, you can see both of them are true so we can read and write to our emulator